gents and gentle ladies, um, how did Paul Hawkins and the Awkward Sciences come into you know being? Where, where, where did it start? Um, and how's it ended up? How's, where's that transition come from? Well, I'd been playing solo originally in a few, some acoustic team songwriter for a couple of years, and then Ian. I mean, you know how you got involved better than I do, I guess. Yeah, yes. Yeah, um, a friend, a very dear friend, and someone whose opinion I respect greatly, saw a review of you playing live and said, "This bloke sounds a genius. We should go and see him." And but before we even got to see you, I tracked you down on uh, MySpace. And you had a little notice up saying you're looking for somebody to arrange some strings on some songs. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, and then you messaged me saying you could do that. And then me and Ian was a huge factor because Ian, you know, Ian's a fantastic producer of music, and uh, it kind of and it made it, you know, and it suddenly meant this this song was taken a whole new lease of life there because because we could have all these things on it. And then we gradually recruited we went along. I think uh, David Serra was the first one we got in. He's again, you saw us live, didn't you? Yeah, I yeah. saw it live and just thought. Uh, it was like completely shambolic, but it wasn't. It was like completely natural. I thought Paul was like just one of the best frontmen I've like ever seen. I hadn't been in the band for too long. I've been looking for like four or five years, and I saw this line and thought it's, it's got to happen to that. And uh, it took six months to get in, but I gradually wore them down. And then, or desperation set in, and they, <laughs> and the rest is uh, a mystery. And then we needed to kind of fill out the sound. So I'd asked Kate, I knew from another band called Sergeant Buzzfuzz, she played the dogs with violin, and uh, yeah, and I asked her if she, she'd come along. I think, in fact, I asked Kate to come along for one, re one rehearsal and one gig, and then just sort of. Oh, no, you're making that up. Am I? <laughs> you never took the small print. So. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. I, thought I'd, oh, I thought I'd kind of ensnared you with kind of a, tried to get you in for one gig, and then, oh, maybe I did actually, actually join. Anyway, but we are really glad she did join. It really made a huge difference to the sound, and then getting Niall again later that year, Niall on the keyboard made a huge, gradually the sound really developed, and Jez was the last person to come in on bass, and he's been he's been a big difference since the album. The fact that we've had it, obviously, obviously a different bassist makes a huge difference to the sound, and that's part of the reason. It does help to kind of have a changes in the lineup in a way, because it means that your sound kind of stays fresh and you avoid avoid repetition you know and uh, where do you see the band going now in terms of when what are you looking forward to, to doing what well, we're already working on the album after Apologies, and that's going to be, we think that's going to be a much kind of quicker, kind of 10 song, 10 song kind of 40 minute thing. And we want to, because this is quite a long album, we want to do a kind of short, kind of poppy album. And then after that, I mean, we probably keep going, but I don't want to be, you know, I don't really want to keep going if there were kind of, if it's still a fact we're kind of doing things new and it still felt like I had more to say with songs and things, I guess. Yeah, so I guess for the time being, we kind of take it album by album, we feel like there's another album in it each time, then we, um, then we do another album, I guess, and then we keep going and see and you know and obviously it'd be good to kind of look at kind of getting more kind of festival gigs and try to raise the profile a bit but then you know you know you're not really in control of that kind of stuff you just kind of you just kind of get on with it and sort of how people react is how they react you just kind of make the best music you can you know <laughs> absolutely <laughs> and another thing yeah absolutely brilliant was so um, so david Terra, what's the next song me again <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you like girls with short black hair, but what's the next song? Stop making a scene. I reckon it might be the next song. And the next song would be the next song would be stop making a scene. You heard it here first. <laughs> Lost my hope, the 
Not how it's supposed to be. This was not how it's supposed to be.